A couple nights ago, I missed out on an absolute killer fireworks show happening just a few minutes from my house. Now at the time, I thought, man, I just missed the perfect opportunity to whip out my camera and start filming. Turns out this marks the start of my journey, where I learn how to live in the moment. The next day was the 4th of July, and with all the neighbors coming over that night for a big party with burgers and dogs and fireworks, <laughs> I knew I had to film it. Now you know this already, the past few weeks I've been documenting my life in a sense, and to say it's changed my way of living is an understatement. But there are times where I can get a little ahead of myself. Good evening. They're firing them up. Hold it. Literally hold it so light. Barely. So light. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Oh my god, oh my god. Shoot! Oh my god, we're gonna burn. Oh my god! We're gonna burn the field down. Wait, hold on. Oh, drop it in, drop it in. <laughs> hey, Wilson. I'm just What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Fireworks, where the police at? The police right there. Oh no! I'm just kidding. Clickbait, cops show up. Oh, Let's try this at home. We're trained professionals, guys. What do you got? This guy coming in. Dude, this actually looks insane. Light up. That's your Don't tell anyone we're doing this. Might actually be illegal. That's it? One more. Good gosh, that's a lot of a lot of smoke. I'm quite guilty of recording pretty much everything. In fact, nowadays, my first reaction to something cool is to take out my phone and take a picture. You get it. This night was no exception. However, I, I quickly realized that it was hard to hold the camera and the sparkler, <laughs> or one of those cannonball things at the same time. I was just so focused on capturing the best moments, waiting for the perfect shot. <laughs> <laughs> then it was that time again. The clock struck 9.45, and Six Flags began one final fireworks show. Yo, we're about to go see the Six Flags finale. And I thought, yes, now was my time to finally get that perfect shot. We ran to get a vantage point, and from where we were, we had a pretty great view. I had finally gotten a chance to get the footage I've been waiting for. But once I catch up to the neighbors and start recording the show, I hesitate. And then, cut. That's where the footage ends. Now, you're probably thinking, wait, 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 that's it? That's all the footage? Well, yes. That's exactly my point. With all that I've done these past few years, all the short films and silly vlogs, it's impossible to imagine doing it without my camera. I mean, the camera's my best friend. It helps make my wildest creative dreams become a reality. It holds all my history, my growth, my precious memories. I mean, that's what cameras are for, to capture, to remember. But I think I learned a valuable lesson on this 4th of July. It's that documenting your experience is fine. But don't be afraid to put down the phone and acknowledge how that experience makes you feel. Uh, today we're trying out the new iPhone 14 Pro Max camera. How it makes you feel alive, feel like a human being. Because that is something a photo or video could never fully capture. There's this common ideology on social media that goes something like, if you didn't film it, it didn't happen. And I guess I'll be the first one to say that's quite all right with me because it did happen you just had to be there i could feel the heart of the city's rhythm begin to wake up a feeling of past times just last night i was wondering if i'd ever love again through the gateway into the lights we go